Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss algebraic vectors, how to add vectors component wise, and by parallelogram rule. And we will understand that magnitude of sum of two vectors is typically not the sum of magnitudes. First of all, let us discuss algebraic vectors. Now, vectors can be represented algebraically by using ordered pairs of real numbers. For example, ordered pair 2, 3 will represent vector in standard position. Now, here you can see in this type of ordered pair, we are using angled brackets to represent a vector. Now, from this ordered pair, we understand that this is the vector whose initial point is at origin and terminal point is at the point 2, 3. Now, the coordinate plane, we have represented this vector like this. Here you can see its initial point is at the origin and terminal point is given by the ordered pair 2, 3. Now from this representation, we can see that horizontal distance is 2 units and vertical distance is 3 units. So we can say that this vector is the resultant of a horizontal vector with a magnitude of 2 units and a vertical vector with a magnitude of 3 units. Now since the vectors with same magnitude and direction are equal, therefore so many vectors can be represented by the same ordered pair 2, 3. The initial point can be any point in the plane now here you can see this is also a vector which is represented by the ordered pair 2, 3 and this is again a vector that is represented by the ordered pair 2, 3 because these all have same horizontal magnitude that is 2 units and same vertical magnitude that is 3 units from their initial points. Now let us discuss addition of vectors. Suppose we have vector AB which is equal to ordered pair 4, 3 and vector BC is equal to ordered pair 2, 5 now we have to find components of vector AC. First of all, let us draw these vectors on the coordinate plane. Now x component of vector AB is 4 and y component is 3. So for drawing vector AB, first of all we take any initial point A on this coordinate plane. Now let this be point A. Now from this initial point A, we move 1, 2, 3 and 4 units to the right and 3 units upwards and we reach at this point and this is the terminal point B. So we have drawn vector AB. Now let us draw vector BC whose x component is 2 and y component is 5. Now the terminal point of vector AB will be the initial point of vector BC. So this point B is the initial point of vector BC. And from this point we move 2 units to the right and 5 units upwards and we reach at this point and this is the point C that is the terminal point 
सी ऑफ वेक्टर बी सी सो वी हैव ड्रॉन वेक्टर बी सी नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ वेक्टर ए सी नाउ वी नो दैट वेक्टर ए सी हैज इनिशियल पॉइंट ए एंड टर्मिनल पॉइंट सी एंड एज वी हैव मूव्ड इन अप द डायरेक्शन सो वी विल शो इट बाय दिस एरो Now here, these arrows show the directions of these vectors. Now here, you can see that joining the points A, B, and C, we get a triangle. That is triangle ABC. Now to find components of AC, here we see that from its initial point, that is the point A, we have moved. Four plus two, that is one, two, three, four, five, and six units to the right, and three plus five, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight units upwards, and reached its terminal point C. So, x component of vector AC is given by 4 plus 2, and its y component is given by 3 plus 5. So, this is equal to ordered pair 6, 8. 9. Now we see that vector AB plus vector BC is equal to ordered pair 4, 3 plus ordered pair 2, 5. Which is equal to other pair four plus two, three plus five. That is equal to other pair six, eight. Which is equal to vector AC thus vector AB plus vector BC is equal to vector AC. and this is also called triangle method of vector addition now let us discuss parallelogram rule of vector addition now see we have drawn this parallelogram and we have vector oa is equal to order pair for one as here you can see initial point of vector oa is o and its terminal point is a so from this initial point we have moved 1 2 3 and 4 units to the right and one unit up and we have reached at its terminal point a so vector oa is equal to ordered pair for one similarly vector ob is equal to ordered pair 2 4 and we have to find the resultant vector oc now initial point of vector oc is o and its terminal point is c now starting from the initial point that is origin with coordinates 0 0 we have moved 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 units to the right And one, two, three, four, and five units up to reach its terminal point C. So vector OC is equal to ordered pair six five. Thus we see that vector OA plus vector OB is equal to ordered pair four one. Plus order pair two four that is equal to order pair four plus two one plus four which is equal to order pair six five that is equal to vector OC and this is called parallelogram rule of vector addition. 
Now this rule is derived from triangle rule only. Now here you can see that in this parallelogram OAC is a triangle and vector AC is same as vector OB because here also from the initial point A we have moved 2 units to the right and 4 units up to reach the terminal point C. So using triangle rule of addition we have vector OA plus vector AC is equal to vector OC. Now if vector A is given by order to x y, then its magnitude is given by magnitude of A is equal to square root of x square plus y square and magnitude is always positive Now vector AB is given by order pair 4, 3. So its magnitude will be equal to square root of 4 square plus 3 square. That is equal to square root of 16 plus 9 which is equal to square root of 25. That is equal to 5. Similarly we can find magnitude of vector BC that will be equal to square root of 2 square that is 4 plus 5 square that is 25 so this is equal to square root of 29 now let us find magnitude of vector AB plus vector BC which is equal to magnitude of vector AC now vector AC is given by ordered pair 6, 8 so this is equal to square root of 6 square plus 8 square that is equal to square root of 36 plus 64 which is equal to square root of 100 that is 10. Now here you can see 5 plus square root of 29 is not equal to 10. This means magnitude of factor AB plus magnitude of factor BC is not equal to magnitude of factor AC. Thus, magnitude of sum of two vectors is typically not the sum of the magnitudes. Now let us see how to know the direction of the resultant vector when we add two vectors. In triangle rule, suppose we have to add two vectors A and B. Here we have drawn the two vectors in the given direction. The terminal point of vector A will be the initial point of vector B and in same direction. Then join the initial point of vector A and terminal point of vector B. This is the resultant vector C which is equal to vector A plus vector B and its initial point coincides with initial point of vector A and its terminal point coincides with terminal point of vector B and in parallelogram rule the initial point of the resultant vector and the other two vectors coincide and we draw an arrow from the common initial point to the opposing corner of the parallelogram and this will give us the direction. So in this session we have discussed algebraic vectors and triangle and parallelogram rule of vector addition. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.